Now we move on to the item that most of you are here for. Item six is an ordinance prohibiting the possession of tools of violence during a demonstration. My name is David Briggs. I'm an attorney. I'm here to speak against this ill-advised and incredibly poorly drafted measure. This measure would prohibit demonstrators from bringing water bottles. Can you please not read something through the next speech? Because you just told everybody to just ignore it or be, be quiet, do whatever you got to do to be quiet. But this is your piece of legislation. So you should be listening to people who come and speak I, I to you. Listening. Okay, but you're reading shit. So you comprehending what you're reading and you listening to people? That's half-assed. Oh, you should give people the respect. I have experienced in the street and in jail firsthand who is perpetrating violence. It, it is the highly militarized OPD, not the citizens of this city. At this last big protest, the general strike, the police actually ran up and almost hurt my pregnant girlfriend, which could have killed, you know, possibly my child and stuff like that. She fell on the ground. They ran over and all type of stuff with the feet. Um, so it just shows like who's perpetrating the violence. We were all out there just, you know, being citizens of Oakland in our streets and they attacked us. My name is John Ryman and I want to address my comrades and brothers and sisters out here. Rather than this disgusting bunch of lying hypocrites behind me who masquerade as the public safety commission when in actuality they're the public cover up commission. If you take the shield from us, the only thing left is a sword. This will escalate the violence in Oakland. The anger you're hearing in this room is a result of the fact that we feel that the Oakland Police Department has attacked us with a military force that involves tanks and tear gas and riot gear. And the response of the Public Safety Commission of our city council is to ban our shields. So in this process of pros and quans, this is definitely a quan. Is this the way that OPD is supposed to behave? Is this the way they're supposed to control the people in the streets? Mr. Reed, what do you think? Because I think you're falling asleep. Whose shields? Our shields! When you take away the shields and then you take away our chance to like be on the defensive, all you leave is like for us to attack. You know what I mean? And so it's like when you leave, when you push pit bulls and German shepherds and poodles, because it's all type of dogs in this crowd, you push all of us inside a corner and we all know each other and we all friendly and wagging our tails and we bite back at the oppressor, just know you was a part of the problem. So if you vote yes, you're a part of the problem. Remember that. You, you know, you know. Our violence is that we're going to change the system and take away every one of your jobs. And when we're done with taking away every one of your jobs, we're going to take away the jobs of your cronies. The decision-making process of what constitutes a club or a shield should not be left to your racist, homophobic, violence-loving, meathead pigs. Fuck the patriarchy and fuck the pigs. <laughs> Fuck the police, all cops are bastards. You should be fucking ashamed of yourself. I don't have time to curb my language because shit is fucked up and bullshit, okay? Why is it that you don't understand that you keep giving money to the same gang, organized, oppressive, militarized force Oppressing our community. The same community you can't seem to find the resources for to provide permanent jobs, to provide a quality level of education. Huh? Talking to you. Still talking to you. You're not doing your job. You are not doing your job. You are not doing your job. You are fired in my book. So you need to get off your high horse, okay? And remember the fact that you are a servant, public servant, and you are not serving the people correctly. You on your knees serving capitalism. Get up and get your mind right. Because if you take our shields, the only thing left is, left is our Second Amendment right. So when we shoot back, I want you to holler, safety! A 
Okay. Either the next speaker starts speaking in the next 15 seconds, or I'm just going to close the meeting. The next speaker is not going to start speaking until Larry Reed takes his seat. Larry, Larry has left the meeting permanently. Larry, really? has, I'm pretty sure we pay him to be here, so he better should get his ass back here. He, he, I want to know if you're planning to outlaw lighters and matches. I want to tell you, Pat Kernigan, that I could walk up to you and kill you with a fucking pencil. Are you going to outlaw pencils? And even if I did want to kill you, you wouldn't know it. Uh, duh. You'd be dead.